Hey, Karen Julia here with Photo SEO Lab. And in this video, we're going to have a quick chat about JavaScript. So it's something that I've been speaking to a lot of photographers about lately, and there's a lot of themes at the moment that includes elements of JavaScript. And Google can take a while to render those elements. Google's official um, response on um, render in JavaScript is that it will come back to the site when there's available resources. Now, that could be quite some time. Um, I have seen a big difference in sites that don't perform as well when they um, do have quite a lot of JavaScript elements on the page. And also if they, particularly if they have the JavaScript elements right at the top before the text. So I've just given the Photo SEO Lab site a makeover and I've included a couple of JavaScript elements on purpose so you can see the difference. And also so that you can see that um, the impact uh, that that has in terms of how Google sees it. So if we head over to Google Search Console and we're using the URL inspection tool. Now I've just done a live test on the site and you will only see this information if you do a live test, but the live test takes several minutes sometimes. So I've done that just before starting recording so that you didn't have to wait and watch just a spinny thing on the screen. So if we just click view tested page and look at screenshot, what we can see here is we've got the menu on the site and we've got the initial bit at the start. And then we have all the text. We've got our H1 heading, we've got our initial text, our SEO services, and then we've got some more text. And then we just have a black box and then a big white box. So this is the parts of the screen that use JavaScript. Now, if we head back over to the website and if we scroll down slowly, you'll see that, do you see the movement involved with those um, logos there? It's JavaScript that uh, is used for that movement. And because that's something that kind of happens as the user scrolls, we'll see if we look at the, the live test that those elements are actually missing. Now, I don't actually mind that because I've not put alt text in them. They're just for decoration purposes and they don't really need to be there. So I'm, I'm really not too fussed, uh, but it would be really important if those contain crucial information. For example, say there were a, a wedding photo that you wanted to be found in search, you know, quickly, that would be really important that that was actually visible. So you'll see the photo at the top's not a problem with Google finding that. And that's a static photo. There's nothing fancy on it. Doesn't move, doesn't fade in, doesn't have any other action. And that's how I recommend photographers have their photos on the page. So nothing fancy, nothing moving. It should already be loaded. Um, into the kind of HTML code uh, when your website loads up. So it's this fancy stuff basically that causes a problem. If we continue scrolling down, you'll see that these two blocks move. Again, because there's movement, if we go over to the URL inspection, Google's not seen them at all. Now I've made sure in making those boxes that they contain information that's overlapped elsewhere in the site. So really, you know, the, the information that's further up the page is, is fine to get this page ranking for the terms I want. This is not crucial. Um, it's just a little, nice design element to kind of separate out the page. Now the pricing boxes have this fancy thing where they, they kind of twist around like that. And again, because it's an action that happens as you scroll the page, Google is not seeing them at all. Just a big white gap. If we scroll down, we've got everything else. So this is why I highly recommend on any photographer site, and it's not about theme company, it's not about templates, um, or you know whether one is better than the other per se. Really any theme can have JavaScript elements that Google finds difficult to render on the page and that Google's potentially not gonna see um, first, thing, first time round. And to test whether Google can see your page or not, you can use the URL inspection tool within Google Search Console. So you can either click over on the left here, okay, just in this section here, or you just paste up at the top um, and then uh, once it loads up, you just do like a live test and it will go through that test process. And if you, um, if this loads up and what you're looking at is just a blank screen, Google's not rendering your page properly. And I would feed that back to your developer. Um, so this is a really important test to do, I think for photographers for their own websites, but also web designers as well. If you have a, a template or um, a theme that you're going to be applying to a client's site and there's a lot of moving parts to it, then you need to kind of almost, I think, manage that client's expectations in the sense that that is going to take longer for Google to see. Um, so this is something where if I made those changes and took it, took the moving elements out of those um, boxes and out of the price, 
um, then Google would be able to see it. So we can kind of do a before and after test. Um, I'm just going to pause the video. So we're in the back end of Divi. And this is the thing, I, I recommend um, Divi to people that are having maybe problems with their existing theme, but there's things that you can do within Divi that add a load of JavaScript as well. So really most themes or templates can be made simple if they can be, um, if, if you've kind of got the ability to override certain settings. So we're gonna switch this from, it's on fold at the moment, we're gonna put none, okay? And this is on the animation section here. And then just click save and exit. I'm going to pause the video again while I do a fresh test. Okay, so we've just um, reloaded the page, cleared the cache, and if I scroll down now, you'll see that this middle one is static and only the other two move. So let's head over to our URL inspection tool. And if we do just hit refresh, I'm just going to pause the video while this does its stuff. Okay, so moment of truth. Um, we've got the fresh screenshot now um, all loaded up. So we see the top, we can see the, the middle parts where the, the PNG files are still missing with the little icons. We've still got our black box and then we scroll down and we have a pricing table in the middle. Okay, so this is the thing, like for photographer sites, it's not like we're using JavaScript for anything that's kind of um, making the difference between real core like features. It's more like kind of the fancy stuff, the icing and the cake, and it's really not essential. It's not necessary. So it seems ridiculous to me that I see so many sites that do have a theme change or a template change. The rankings tank, Google's not rendering them properly. And often it's not actually, um, and this is where, we're, you know, maybe I'm looking at a site after, let's say, six months or something, because with JavaScript sites, Google doesn't use all the resources um, to crawl it at once. So it can take a while, but it should still be crawled. But on further investigation, I find all sorts of coding problems with the actual JavaScript. So not only is there all this fancy stuff, but it's actually getting in the way of, you know, the Google bots being able to um, see and crawl and index your content. So my advice to photographers is make sure you're set up a Google Search Console. Make sure you, you test your URLs. Make sure that these are actually visible to clients. If you're thinking of um, considering investing in a new theme or a new template, Ask the developer for a test. Ask them for an example before you spend the money. Um, make sure that this is actually going to be visible to Google. And, you know, because I see people investing in, in templates and themes and they end up losing money and lost business because their rank, organic rankings drop. But generally speaking, just keep it super simple. There is really no benefit really to these price lists twisting rather than just being static. Like, it's really not... Um, it wouldn't be worth not being able to rank for. If you are going to have any fancy moving parts, make sure it's not on the important content. So you want that that H1 header at the top, that should be static. The initial introductory test, text, definitely static, okay? Anything that's moving should be actual flourishes on the site rather than core bits of content. So maybe little um, PNG things. But I think, honestly, for photographers, keep it super simple, keep it easy to read and understand by Google. And it's going to be far, far easier for your um, your content that you've put so much effort and time into to actually kind of be ranked and found and indexed. All right. So hope that helps. Any JavaScript SEO related questions you've got, whether you're a web designer or photographer, I would love to hear from you. But I hope that helps. All right. Cheers.